Hey guys, uh, this is Normal for Technic and today we will see the second part of our tips and tricks series for Windows 8.1. So previously we did a video on uh, some few tips and tricks for Windows 8.1. So that was the first part of this video. So the first part we covered some of the customization options like uh, uh, how to change the background wallpaper, so then few changing the themes on Windows 8.1 and then a boot to desktop and few other options. So that was the first part of uh, the tips and tricks. Now let's go ahead and do get uh, more tips and tricks on Windows 8.1. So let's get started with the second part of this series. So, so this is the second part of Windows 8.1 tips and tricks. So now uh, the first step uh, in second series is uh, resizing the icons on Windows 8.1 start screen. So we have the icons in different sizes on the start screen so if you want to customize and group an icon so you can just right click on the icon and you can see the uh, options here so you have the unpin from start uninstall and resize and turn li live tile off so the resize option will allow you to change the size so you have a few four options large wide medium and small so currently selected is wide i mean the small one you can go for medium option so we have the medium option you can also go for um, wide one so that's a wide one and you can also go for the large one so those are the four options so all the apps may not have these four options because uh, the developer has to enable all these four options in case they want to get uh, uh, this option so by default uh, the windows 8.1 core apps will have all these four options but uh, third party apps may or may not have the four options but generally will have the three options uh, whichever is available by default on uh, windows 8.1 so that's how you change the si resize the icons on the start screen so resizing icons is pretty handy because you might want to group the icons uh, in smaller groups uh, based on your usage so this uh, tip helps you to do that now second up uh, you have the live tiles on the start screen so live tiles will update the information in the background and show you the latest uh, uh, update say for example an email uh, live tile it shows up the latest email then you have twitter app uh, then uh, e other email apps so these apps will show you the latest information i mean the latest notification on the live tile so in case you don't want to i mean if you want to restrict the data access on this live tile you can do it from here go to settings uh, and uh, you can see here settings uh, you can see the tiles option here so select tiles and you can see the option data used for tile updates so after reach limit your apps will let you know when there is new info waiting for you but your tiles won't update so you can set the uh, default uh, data usage for tiles so right now you can it's set to 50 mb so you can say 100 mb 200 300 400 and unlimited option so unlimited option uh, will not um, calculate the amount of uh, data used up for the live tiles but generally live tile does not use much data but in still if you have too many apps on the live tiles so it might take up some data so you can restrict the uh, data using this option so it's pretty handy in case you have too many apps using the live uh, uh, live tile data so and you can res restrict uh, uh, them by using this option so this is uh, uh, allowed from the settings menu in the start screen now another option is to uh, hide the notification so whenever there is a new notification notification on your windows 8.1 pc it shows up on the top right corner of your windows uh, uh, 8.1 desktop so in case you are working uh, and you don't want to show any get any notifications from the apps install you can snooze the notification for a particular amount of time so for that uh, just uh, hit the jumps bar and select uh, the notifications icon here you can see the notification icon select this and you can see hide for eight hours hide for three hours and hide for one hour so this means the notification will be hidden for the selected amount of uh, time duration so during this time you don't see any notification new notifications uh, from any of the apps so the, you won't be disturbed during your work time or a meeting etc so this this uh, uh, option allows you to quickly hide the notifications on now windows 8.1 next step uh, is uh, adjusting your screen brightness so we know that you can change the screen brightness from the power settings but if you want to quickly change the screen brightness 
you can go ahead and change it from here uh, the start screen settings has uh, the option for brightness so you can see here you can uh, change the slider to increase or decrease the brightness of your screen so instead of going to uh, the power settings and changing the brightness you can change uh, the brightness from here so that's um, another tip uh, from here then apart from that you can also close uh, uh, windows 8.1 running apps so by default microsoft has said that uh, the apps uh, the windows uh, metro apps or rather the windows store apps which have been installed runs in the background but does not consume memory or um, uh, i mean uh, data because it's been optimized for usage but still if you want to close an app you can do it from here so let's uh, open few apps so let's open games uh, then uh, let's go ahead and open camera uh, then a few other apps so if a video etc now we have opened a few apps now let's go ahead and uh, see how to close these apps so let's open the games if you now we have opened the games app so you can see here when you uh, move the cursor on to the top of the um, screen you can see a hand icon so now if you press and hold the hand icon you can see the app uh, uh, right now then you can just uh, pull the app uh, towards down and then you can see the app will rotate and then close so you need to keep uh, keep holding the app such that it will rotate and then finally close so we'll just demo this option once again so if you just pull this app and then uh, uh, pull it down it won't close in windows 8.1 so it will just go to the background so to close this uh, what you need to do is uh, select the app and then uh, bring it to the down wait for it to rotate so there you go it rotated now you can uh, close it so that this will close the app and it will not uh, run in the background so just pull the app from the top uh, and then pull it down wait for it to rotate and then it will close the app so that's our tip number five on uh, windows 8.1 tips and tricks so that's all in this uh, video of uh, tips and tricks we'll have more uh, more parts coming up uh, later so if you have any queries on this uh, drop a comment and we'll be glad to help you out if you like this video hit the like button subscribe uh, for more videos like this and thanks for watching this video